Hi, this is going to be a super quick tutorial on how to um, use the fur brush that's in my Clip Studio Paint uh, Brushes pack. And if the name changes, it's fine. I'm going to just link the pack in the description of the video and we'll just go ahead and get started. So um, the properties are, it, uh, you can see here on the screen at the right, I am like refreshing the brush so that it's at its the basic um, properties and then I've got a pink color selected and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint a nice little whoop. Now that it's nice and painted I'm gonna log the transparency on my layer by clicking on the little icon here that you see at the right that has a little checkers board and then I've got a purple selected that I want to use for the shade. Um, imagine that the that the um, light is coming from the top right. So it's coming like this. So we're gonna shade down here. Um, and I'm about to do a layer and start coloring, but instantly I see that I don't really like the border that it's creating it's too harsh for what i want i'd like something much softer so what you can do is i'm going to increase right here on the window of the brush properties at the right uh, the thickness of the brush so i can get more bristles and i am going to activate the pen pressure so you click on this little button at the right and then a little window is going to appear that you cannot see my stream and just hit pen pressure, that's it. And then that is gonna allow you to make the transition a little nicer on the fur ball. So make sure I have both colors and there you go. That'll make it look a lot more like it's a sphere instead of such a harsh um, border that we had before. So I can still do that at the bottom down here as well. that's the wall and now we're gonna also um, I'm gonna increase the color so I can make it a little warmer and I'm gonna make the light here it's coming a little bit more to life just a little brighter just gonna use it right here and just transition it and make it real soft a little bit of bounce light um, I don't know if I'm some object down here at the right and I still would like it a little brighter and a little warmer just for this color theory and there you go there's how quickly and how fast you make a uh, ball of fur and you can always play around with the properties of the brush on the right, especially the thickness of the brush. Um, I'm going to unlock the transparency now for my layer so I can draw elsewhere. So if I make it really thin, like you can make a really, like it doesn't have to be fur, it could be a really spiky ball. Or you can make it really, really thick and then it'll be, let me lower the, the size, it'll be a very, very, very fluffy little thing. Um, But it'll be more like a cotton ball. So there is a difference from one to the other. This one's much more spiky. This one is a little rather thin. And you, you know, you, you can definitely then shade it accordingly to keep the spikiness. But anyway, that's how you do it. Like, I'm gonna do a little zoom in so you can see like the transition is really nice. Here's the other one. Look how spiky that is. And that's essentially how you would use the that's really big the fur brush very nice and simple uh yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> i don't have much else to say so i'll be making other videos for the other brushes as well so it'll be faster than just reading the screenshots that i have on the album and the so thanks for watching all right bye